yeah, I know some vets have concerns about um, shedding or, or the vaccine actually causing disease in the vaccinated animal. Uh, personally, I, I really haven't seen these problems in, in cats that I've vaccinated and I, I don't have any real concerns about using a live vaccine in a cat. In fact, I would recommend it. I think the concerns are almost historical. There were problems with live virus vaccines when they first introduced in the 1970s. They weren't so well attenuated, so they could produce mild disease, which the clients didn't like. But the latest generation of live virus vaccines are fantastic, and those concerns are ill-founded, even if a little bit of it is left on the skin and the cat licks it off, no clinical signs that are adverse develop. Clinical experience, I have um, no concern for the safety of modified live vaccines, again, because we just don't see reversion to virulence from the vaccines and very few cats experience any side effects from their vaccines as well post-vaccination. I have very little concern for using modified live vaccines. I find them very safe and efficacious. Uh, we don't tend to get clients calling with sort of flat cat post-vaccination phone calls uh, and of course have no adjuvants within them where uh, it absolves the argument of adjuvant-based reactions uh, and long-term concerns of using killed vaccinations. Well, for me, working in a sheltered environment, I want a vaccine that um, causes rapid and, and strong uh, onset of immunity. And so for me, that's what a live vaccine does. Uh, and I've seen, you know, I've seen lots of problems using killed vaccines where the adjuvant actually causes a lot of you know, sick, depressed, sort of flat cats, um, whereas you don't seem to get those side effects. Um, with, a, with a live vaccine. So, particularly in a shelter setting, I, I would be a strong advocate for live vaccines. Some polyvalent kill vaccines, particularly ones that cover three or four or even five infectious agents, have such a large dose of adjuvant, the cats seem to become systemically unwell for somewhere like 24 to 48 hours after vaccination. They have lassitude, they often don't eat well, and they seem quite depressed. Um, that's a significant concern for owners, and probably not a good thing for a young cat to go through. Whereas with live virus vaccination, there are almost no observable adverse sequelae. I think it would be fair to say that both live and killed vaccines do produce good immunity. But live virus vaccines multiply within the host and because of the production of interferon produce much more rapid onset of immunity and better overall immunity and in particular better mucosal immunity as well as systemic immunity. So I think, in my opinion at least, the efficacy of a live virus vaccine will usually be superior to a killed virus vaccine. Efficacy in a sheltered environment is particularly important. So why I like live vaccines is um, they provide a, a stronger humoral immune response, a stronger cell mediated response and better at overcoming um, maternally derived antibodies. So for me in a sheltered environment with a, with a healthy cat, I'd definitely be choosing to vaccinate with a live vaccine. The other thing that I like about using live vaccines in cats, um, it is an off-label um, use at the moment, but, but a single um, injection of a live vaccine into an adult cat will provide really, really good protection for that cat. So it's a real bonus that um, the cats that are maybe quite fractious, we're only going to see once, you can use a live vaccine and know that it's going to give good protection.